This is the first visit by any presidential candidate to these communities in Bindawa and Ingawa local government areas in Dora zone of Kasano State. Here, the presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party is promising the people's improved standard of living as well as security of lives and property. According to him, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and the All Progressives Congress, APC, have disappointed Nigerians as they don't care about the welfare of the common man. Because there are so many people who uh, I believe that they have no uh, common man in their heart. And that's why we had to leave them and bring this party. And uh, I am so happy that the masses are embracing our party. So we are very happy. We are grassroots people moving on the ground, unlike those guys who are moving in the air. They don't know what is happening on the ground. The masses don't know them, and they don't know the masses. For Bubagala Dima, a chief ten of the NNPP, he is optimistic that the votes in the northwest states of Kanu, Kasana, Kaduna, and Jigawa are enough to give victory to Senator Rabi Omosa Konkosu in the upcoming 2023 presidential elections. And this is where we expect to come so to get at least 90% of the votes from these states. And you should know that the registered voters of Kano, Kasina and Kaduna is about 15 million. That one alone, if you add Jigawa, is in a position to make him the president of Nigeria. While the NNPP governorship candidate in Kazano State, Mohamed Nur Khalil, is saying there are indications that the people in Kazano State are fed up with the mismanagement of the state by the both APC and the PDP that have governed the state at one time or the other. So people are really fed up and as you can see uh, from the reason of their bodies and from the excitement they have shown uh, of the presence of our presidential candidate that we are only waiting for the hour in which they will go and use their vote, you know, to vote out these people that have only been useful to themselves and not to the people. A member of the House of Representatives, Amino Ashurumani, who recently defected from the APC and is now contesting for the Bindawa Mani federal constituency on the platform of the NNPP, says, apart from security challenges, the people of the communities are also lacking basic local amenities. A special intervention is needed to get potable water to drink. In terms of also food security, we need that special intervention. So being the fact that uh, as a presidential aspirant, for him to come and see with his naked eyes how people are surviving here. Somebody needed water to drink, chocolate about water, even take his bath. Well, according to the locals here, this is the first time they are interfacing with a presidential candidate in their locality. And the NNPP officials are saying this is part of the strategies which they are making towards having more than 4 million votes from Kazana State alone. Awal Ibrahim, Arise News.